everyone, this is Anne, the little Frenchie in Big Texas, and today I want to give you an update on my last shopping experience at Costco. I went back 10 days later and the store looked much better. So it's a positive um, feedback here. They got a delivery, obviously, several trucks, I imagine. The shelves were fuller. They were not to the level that they used to be at. Huh? Don't take me wrong here. It's still low compared to the past, but much better than my previous video for those who watched. So let's just uh, see with your own eyes what was there, what was not. And we're going to start with some positives. So starting this visit here at Costco with some pretty full sections. Here is the basic medicine, Tylenol, Advil. Pretty full, as you can see, well stocked. Then going to the back of the store that used to be really empty. As you can see, they filled up some of the shelves here with some toilet paper, a lot of Coke, a lot of drinks, and on the opposite side, more toilet paper. That's the blue you see at the top. That's toilet paper. And so going around here, you see you still have empty spots, but it's not as much as before. I mean, they really filled it up. But as I mentioned, uh, you have the green is the Sprite, the red is the Coke, a lot of drinks and cans over there. And here you can see the toilet paper at the top. So another aisle that was pretty well stocked, that was the pasta and the rice. And as you can see, you have bags on the shelves waiting to be put down. Look at these uh, bags. I mean, the large, probably 25 pounds, heavy bags. And the bottom shelves were pretty full for the rice, I mean, decently stocked. So that was very positive compared to last time. So the, the eyes don't, uh, don't all compare. You've got some that are very positive, others that are not, but that was definitely a good one compared to last time. So you still have some uh, empty spots, particular here on the top shelf. Um, but I mean, you, you got, uh, it's there, it is there. Here it was also a pleasant surprise, so it's not to the top, but last time we didn't have any. Look at this, we got green beans, hoo hoo, and corn, yes! Even some large cans, not many, but a few. But yeah, that one was a, a pleasant surprise. Uh, they have a few, it's probably gonna be gone in a few days, I'm not sure how often they restock. And so it was $9.99 for 12 cans, both for the corns and the green beans. So definitely far from the prices we had a year ago, a year and a half actually, because the, the green beans went away quick. And we also had some tomatoes, some diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and here are the beans. So that was a decent eye. It was not full, as you can see, but at least you had some compared to last time where you did not. So, and here again, the top shelf is empty but you, you've got less uh, empty spots on the shelves, definitely. Another positive here was the meat section. Look at the meat, plenty here. The frozen food as well was a bit better stocked, in particular the bacon. Last time we had empty boxes and really not many. This time you had bacon on the shelves. Even the lunchables, somewhere back. But yeah, as you can see, it is not full. But it's not bad. It's, as I mentioned, better than before, that last time. Now moving to the not so good sections. So here is the produce, the fresh fruits and vegetables in the cold room. You can, I mean, you see for yourself uh, the empty shelves. Uh, it's definitely not full, not what it used to be. You still have the two small islands in the middle instead of the large ones, less choice, less produce. But I was looking for strawberries. I was coming back from Sam's Clubs when they were all rotten. These ones were actually pretty decent and uh, I bought them, they're good. They're 50 cents more than Sam's Club and they're much higher pricing than what they used to, but they're good, they had some. On the milk, it was not full at all. As you can see, a lot of empty spots and not full on the milk. But they had some. Same for the eggs. They had eggs, 
but a lot of empty uh, spots on the shelves. And here are some examples of what we've seen in the past, this uh, do not inventory item that should not be uh, inventory, so it's not food, not things they sell. It's their own stuff to put to the, at the food court uh, to help uh, in the warehouse, but that is not for us. It just makes the shelves look full and still quite a few empty spots on the shelves. I mean, it's still not what it used to. It was better, as I mentioned, but look at this here. Far from being full, huh? Far. So we still have supply chain issues. It's still there. Look. Empty, empty, empty. So on that very same day, I started actually my shopping experience at Sam's Club and it was empty. So empty that uh, there were things I wanted to get, I could not find or wanted fresh strawberries, they were like rotten. So I ended up finishing at Costco, which is the video and the pictures you've seen here. An upcoming video is coming on Sam's Club. Uh, it was a bit alarming. No rice, a lot of empty shelves. Uh, they were trying to replenish on, in some areas, but overall it was pretty empty. Except for the meat, both stores had a pretty nice meat area, very well stocked, so that was positive. On the negatives in both stores, and even my local Kroger, they were, they were very low on milk, extremely low on milk. I finished, uh, I forgot something, I stopped at Kroger and looking at the milk uh, fridges, uh, it was surprising. A lady next to me actually went up front to ask the general manager what was going on, where the milk was, and he just told her that they had not received the delivery for the day. The truck had not showed up. And what if he doesn't show up tomorrow and the day after? What do we do? So something to think about. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.